Okay. Are the Ten Commandments of the Torah all that is to be followed by believers in Messiah, or does the entire Torah need to be followed by believers in Messiah? Okay. Well, here, here, here is how thick the Gospels are. This is Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the Acts, and the Revelation, okay? You don't have the end of Yeshua, or the fulfillment of Yeshua's ministry as he baptizes his followers with the Holy Spirit until the second chapter of the book of Acts. Right. And the book of Acts is the detail of how the believers were led by the Messiah, given revelation and inspired and instructed by the Messiah by way of the Holy Spirit. And then the book of the Revelation is uh, revealing Yeshua as the Messiah, the reigning king. The Torah is actually a little bit bigger than this. Do we need to, uh, to keep these commandments? Well, let me give you a, a, a few here. This is just from the last couple of weeks that we are in this. Uh, don't move your neighbor's landmarks, okay? Don't mm -hmm. steal his land from him. Should we keep that today or not? How about you don't harvest your neighbor's crops with a combine? You can go out into his field and the poor can eat, they can pluck grain, they can take some fruit off the trees, but they're not allowed to go in there with a the semi and load it up and, and ship it out of the country, okay? Should we keep that one today? How about thou, you, you will not kidnap? Kidnapping is punishable by death and human trafficking, selling people as human slaves. It's forbidden in the Torah. Should we keep that today? How about not abusing indentured servants? And if you accidentally, if one of them's injured uh, because of, uh, gets their tooth knocked out, you have to let them go free. How about you don't allow cowards in combat roles? That's a good one for today. How about you don't allow accusers to get away with lying? It's called perjury in the American jurisprudence system. How about not sacrificing your children to pagan gods? Is that something we want to say, oh, that was nailed to the cross? How about you don't celebrate pagan holy days or do anything? any of what the scripture calls abominations. Uh, maybe Jesus nailed that one to the cross. See, the whole Christian world kind of picks and chooses, but you do as many as you can. How about men don't wear women's clothes or vice versa? How about men don't touch another man's wife? It's called adultery. Punishable by death. It used to be in America, if, if a man found his, his wife in bed with another man, if he killed them both, it was like, that's justifiable. Well, how about men don't marry both a mother and her daughter, or her, his sister? No men with men, women with women, men or women with animals. Is that something we should keep today? Jesus didn't mention it again. He didn't mention anything about not kidnapping anyone or selling people as slaves, sex slaves, okay? How about no unjust weights and measures? You appreciate the Bureau of Standards when you go pump gas and you actually get a gallon of gas for you know, $14, whatever they're charging for now in America. Uh, how about you don't prophesy presumptuously? You don't make stuff up because it fits with your denomination. No, you don't prophesy or speak and, and say the Lord's telling me this when you're just making it up, okay? You hear from heaven and then you can speak. Well. Should we keep these things? Ladies and gentlemen, we keep every single commandment in the Torah that we can. Only 613 commandments by rabbinic count, and they just love to count things and subdivide things, but there are only 613 commandments in America today, Scott. There are over 2.4 million laws that apply to everyone. But wow. yet in the Torah, some commandments are written just for men. Some just for women, some just for children, some just if you're a Levite among men, others only if you're of the lineage of Aaron, and others only if you are the high priest on the Day of Atonement does this particular instruction, which is what Torah is, law is, instruction, it's only then does that apply to them. And so, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to read these things, you've got to understand them. This is civilization, this is the Torah is like the constitution of the land of Israel. It, this is how you love your neighbors yourself and how you love God. It's not up to you to make it up. What would Jesus do? What would Paul do? No, you, what, what, would, what, did, what did Jesus do? What did he say? It is written. And then he did what was written. It's not a mystery, Torah fans. He didn't make it up by the seat of his pants. And when men 
added to or subtracted from, he put the plumb line down and divided rabbinic Judaism, the man-made religion of its day, from the instructions in the Torah and showed that man-made religion, man-made rules and regulations have no authority. And so, yep, I think we ought to keep these things. <laughs> 